guess what this is. <gasps> Hi, Kerbos! This is... Kerbos Space Program 0.18.2! <gasps> Ooh. Training. Um. Okay, okay. Let's go for it. <laughs> so excited. It's brand new game. Oh, look. Bill. Jebediah! Hey, Jebediah. I missed you, buddy. Get off the keyboard there, Klein there. Yeah. No kid cats on the freaking keyboard! Cause you crashed the game a few minutes ago. That's right. Welcome to Orbiting 101 Training Program. I'm Gene Kerman, and I'm going to teach you the basics of orbiting. I assume you've already done the basic flight tutorials, and now... And are now ready to learn how to get around in space. If you haven't done them, well, I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, we kind of skipped that, but I'm sure I'll be okay. Let's see, it's, um... Yeah, that's my pits. Pits up, pits down. Yaw. Roll. Um... I forget what throttle is, but I guess we'll figure that out as we go. Hee <laughs> hee! Next. Orbiting is really nothing more than free-falling. The only thing that is... The only thing is that as you fall, you're moving so fast forward, you actually miss the ground. Because up here, there's no atmosphere to slow you down. You will continue to free fall endlessly around the planet without having to use your engines. Well, that's handy. Look, Jebediah, you're in space, buddy. Poor Bob's freaking out, thinking he's take Valium. We are currently on a low, almost circular orbit around Kerbin. To get a better view of your situation, press the M key. Okie dokie! M key! Woo! This is the map view! Here you can see your ship's position in its current trajectory around the planet. Use the mouse to look around to see your orbit from various angles. Also, Hovering over the icon on the map will display more information about them. Close the map when you're ready by pressing M again so we can proceed. How do I... Ooh! Ooh! Okay. Hover. Oh, look, it's my orbiter! What's that? Parapolypsis. Apo... Up... This. Okie dokie, yeah, I have no idea what that means. Oh, it's Moon! And Kerbin! M! <gasps> Did a Kerbal just say something? Good! Let's get practical now! I trust you already know your basic space staff controls. Up here, they're very much the same. Only the lack of an atmosphere makes your ship have behave quite a bit differently. Because there's no drag slowing you down. For every input you apply, you'll have to apply an opposite one to come to a stop again. I'm going to remotely nudge your altitude controls a little. Try to get the ship back under control afterwards. You will find yourself totally out of control. If you find yourself totally out of control, hit T to toggle the SAS. Are you ready? Let me find T. Okay. Oh my god, here we go! Um... Oops. Is it not working? Oops! Oops!
Okay, toggling. Toggling. Uh-huh. Nicely done. I don't think so. Let's try this again. That's pitch. No. Pitch. Are you on a key, cat? Yeah. Roll. Pitch. Okie dokie. Let's try this again. Here we go. I did it! I did it! Yes! Okay, I'm ready. Ooh! The nav ball. Okay. Now let's look at the nav ball. You've probably seen the symbol on it when you're spinning around. Here's what they mean. That thingy means prograde vector. It points towards your velocity vector. That is, it points to where you are going. Okay. This one, retrograde vector, it points directly away from your velocity. Prograde waypoint vector, it points towards your current waypoint. Retrograde waypoint vector, it points directly away from your current waypoint. Okie dokie. So this points towards my velocity vector. It's where I'm going. Okay. Okay, now let's try something a little more involved. Open your map again. Okie dokie. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What we want to do now is go through some basic maneuvers. You'll need to know. Let's try raising your apopasis first. The apoapsis? I'm going to call it apo. It's the highest point in an orbit. It is indicated by the node marked AP. I'll just call it AP. The best place to raise your AP is at the paras, paraapsis, PE node, which is the lowest point of your orbit. If you hover the mouse over paraapsis node, you'll see that we'll reach it that we'll reach it node you'll see that we'll reach it node in a few minutes once there we will face prograde and burn press period to speed up time a little so we can get there faster okay Um. I don't know how to speed up time. Plus time? Warp. Warp. Hey. Okay, we are a few seconds away from para-apsis now. Time to turn prograde and do our burn. However, instead of closing the map, let's just bring up the nav ball here so we can see what's happening to our orbit as we accelerate. To bring up the nav ball on the map, click the little tab on the bottom center of the screen. I see it or press the number pad period key. Beep. Boop. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good. Time to do our burn. Actually, it's not, because we're at Apogee. Turn the ship to face the prograde vector now. 
Turn SAS on if you need help maintaining stability. Remember the prograde vector looks like this. Okie dokie, make sure the ship is pointing towards it before accelerating. Okay. This is... We need to get to perigee. Paroapsis. Okay. How do I make sure my ship is pointing towards it? Whoa! What have I done? What have I done? Um... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. It would help if you weren't in the way, cat. No! Oh man! Can I pause? Can I pause? Can I pause? Criminy. I passed it. I guess I have to go back and do the flight thing. Sorry, guys.